Hi, I'm Fatima and I'm going to present Shredder, which is a method for training noise distributions to protect privacy of systems deploying machine learning models. So in this work, what we're targeting is prediction or inference privacy. And what this means is the privacy of queries and the raw data that we send to uh, online cloud services to run a task for us and return the results to us. So you take a picture with your phone, you send it to a service provider to an application to like run some filters on it, and then you get the image back. So there you're sending your raw image that could have some sensitive information in it that are irrelevant to the task that the service provider is supposed to run. Or also when you call your smart home device and you ask it to run something, it's collecting information from all your surroundings. So you're sending your raw data to systems to uh, providers that might be compromised and you don't necessarily trust them. Now, uh, if you want to protect the privacy of these queries, uh, one way is to add some random accuracy agnostic noise. And in this um, scenario, the problem is that in order to get um, any meaningful privacy, you need to add a whole lot of noise, which is going to cause a lot of loss in utility. Another way is to use uh, encryption-based methods uh, that can offer you security and they also have very little loss in utility. But the problem with them is that they are very computationally intensive. So they're gonna cost a lot in terms of um, runtime. Now, um, an ideal uh, model would be a model that could add noise uh, in such a way that uh, it takes into account the execution of the model and that it can be resilient. So you can add noise that the model is resilient to and you're not causing a uh, loss to utility. At the same time, because it's just a noise addition, you're not really uh, imposing any computational, extra computational or communication costs. So you can have uh, both acceptable utility and also you don't need to spend a lot of time uh, as opposed to encryption-based mechanisms, which cannot really be deployed in real-time applications yet. Now, the key idea behind uh, Shredder is the learning of noise patterns that uh, a model is resilient to. So normally when you're training, um, training a model, what you do is you send in a batch of data, you calculate the gradients, and then you update the, update the weights um, using backprop. Now, what you're thinking is that you can add noise to any intermediate activation to any layer in this setup. And uh, then here, um, you can also like freeze the network. So if the model is already deployed, you don't really need to change the model. You freeze it. And instead of updating the, uh, the weights, you will be updating this noise tensor. So you're learning, um, you're learning noise patterns that the model is resilient to. And what is good about this setup is that it can work for any objective function. So you don't really need to uh, be tied to a specific function. And also it's not intrusive to the model. So if you have a model, it's already trained and deployed. You don't really need to change the weights of that model. You don't need to update it. And also you can add this additive noise to any layer and it can work. Now the execution model that uh, we're assuming is um, a kind of a split learning setup. So we cut the neural network into two sections. Uh, the first section is deployed on the edge device and the second one on the cloud. And to the first one, once we've run the first uh, partition, we add some noise that is sampled from um, these noise um, patterns, these noise distributions that we know the model is resilient to. And then if we send these um, noisy intermediate activations to the cloud to run uh, the rest of the inference, inference task. Now, how do we uh, learn these noise distributions that the model is uh, supposed to be resilient to? In order to do that, what we do is first, we take a pre-trained model that you want to do this to, um, we take it and we partition it uh, into two segments. Now, the partitioning is also important because you want to take into account the communication and computation costs, the trade-off here, and also you want to take into account the restrictions that your edge device has. So considering all of these, we find the optimal uh, cutting point and we split the network in that cutting point. We then initialize a noise sensor uh, with, um, Laplace, uh, with a random sample from a Laplace distribution. And then we execute the first um, DNN segment and we add this noise and we get a noisy activations. We then feed these noisy activations to 
the, we send them to the cloud, uh, we, uh, we feed them to the rest of the network and we get um, the output of the network. So we get the logits and then we run one uh, round of back crop to update the parameters. Now at every, um, uh, every set of iterations, um, what we do is we check the accuracy on um, a kind of held out validation set to see if we have reached uh, a desired um, accuracy level that we wanted to. Uh, if we haven't, we, uh, we go back, we like sample another batch of data, we continue the training, but if we have, uh, then what we do is uh, we fit a, uh, a distribution to this noise tensor that we had, we feed a Laplace distribution, we collect the parameters of this Laplace distribution, and uh, we save them along with the order of the noise elements. So we create a tuple, we save them, and we collect this tuple. Now, what is this loss function that we're using to train? The loss function is relatively simple. It has two uh, main terms. The first one is a cross entropy loss, which is there to minimize the classification error. So you want to make sure that whatever main task your model was supposed to run, it's still running it with an acceptable level of accuracy. But at the same time, you want to increase the noise because you want to lose information. So you want to be, you want to get privacy by losing any information that is not going to be related to this task. Uh, so we also have this term that is trying to maximize the standard deviation of the noise. And we also have a knob, uh, alpha, which is there to help you control the accuracy privacy trade-off. Now, once we have um, like collected um, these noise distribution parameters and their orders, what we do during inference that like we've deployed this model, we wanna add noise to queries. What we do is we randomly choose uh, a distribution, like a tuple from our collection, um, a tuple of distribution and orders. We sample from that distribution. So we have a Laplace distribution, we have the parameters, we take a sample and we populate this uh, noise tensor. We then reorder um, the elements to match the saved order that we had, and we add this noise to our intermediate activations, and we send it off to the cloud. And the cloud runs the rest of the computation and gives us back the final results. For our experiments, uh, we used a Jetson TX2 board as an edge device, and we also used um, a server uh, with a Titan XP GPU as our cloud, and we used PyTorch on both these devices to run the neural networks. Now our main result is our accuracy privacy trade-off. Um, so on the accuracy on the accuracy axis, you can see the loss in accuracy. And for privacy, we are measuring information loss in bits. So how much information is lost uh, between this? How much mutual information is lost between the original raw image and the activation that you're sending? And the zero leakage is like total loss of information. So if you lose, if you get to this red uh, line, it basically says that you have lost all the information that was originally there. And we can see that with uh, the more accuracy uh, we lose, the more we are willing to sacrifice utility, we can get closer to this line. And the best uh, kind of trade-off, it's the knee of this curve that gives you like acceptable um, levels in information loss, and you also uh, get uh, an acceptable accuracy loss. Another thing that is, um, that is really important about this work and in general about split learning uh, is that you can sometimes even get um, improvements in the general and overall runtime because uh, of the computation communication trade-offs. So uh, once you're sending the entire query, you, you're, um, you're spending a lot of time for communication. Whereas if you send an intermediate activation, which is a smaller, you're spending less time in communication and you're adding a little computation time. So in general, on many of the benchmarks, we saw that we can even get uh, a, uh, a speed up over a cloud only baseline that you can see here for the networks. So um, the sum, uh, to summarize, uh, Shredder can give you a faster execution and enhance privacy, but it's also too heuristic based. So uh, maybe like the distributions that you get, maybe not all of them work. So you have to test them and you have to find this distribution that really works for you. Thank you uh, for listening to my talk. <laughs>